Yo, yo, yo. Hey, I'm on my way up 75 right now. I 75 in the flame right now with my man She Wallace. We going up here to check things out, see what's going on. But uh, I've been driving for two days pretty much. We came from North Carolina. We picked up some water down there from North Carolina. And we drove it up here. Now we on our way to Flint. And we want to see what's going on with these people up here, man, for real. We want to see with our own eyes. We want to get to the neighborhoods, man. So uh, I, I think she think this is important. We heading up there. Me, she, Dr. Darius. We put our boots on the ground. We got a couple pallets of water in the back. And we actually going to, you know, the neighborhoods to talk to the residents to see what else they need and how else we can be of an assistance. 13 hours and we touch down in Flint as we speak the Pearson Road. <laughs> What's my man? Greg. What up, baby? How you doing, man? Darius. What's up? What's up? What's up? See, where we at? What we doing? Hello. Yo, what it do? Hey, here we are. You know, you see the young black brothers and sisters out here. We got to help our, our young black brothers and sisters in the city of Flint. So right now, we just pulled up with the water truck, and we're going to try to do our part. Get the water out, you know, so it can go to the community, so it can get to who it needs to get to. You know what I'm saying? We're just doing our part. That's what we're supposed to do. You know what I mean? That's love right there, too, man. That's love. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, I'm sitting here with my brother, yeah, Pastor man. Kevin Thompson. We're down here at St. Mark Missionary Baptist Church. She and Terrence and his family, man, they came down and blessed us, came down from Detroit, yeah, came down originally from North Carolina to bring us water, man. I just want to say, you know, God is amazing. It's amazing. God is amazing, man. Thanks so much for all. Amen. Our city needs it, and we're going to have clean water soon. We're going to keep praying, keep coming together, and helping our community. Thank you. In Jesus' name, this is our prayer as we change a generation. Oh man, yeah, we um we gonna head through my, one of my old my old neighborhoods, man. Um, the elementary school closed down. The um it's, it's bad, it's bad, man. You know, just just to see what they got to go through, man. Like I've been like I've been saying, it's already bad enough that Flint had to go through the gym uh, crisis and everything, and, and the recession and everything, and then for this to come. You know, sweep everybody off their feet, man. I mean, you you talking about people's lives, talking about their health. Um, you're talking about future generations being affected. And um, we really haven't seen the, um, you know, the worst of it, I, I think. You know, hopefully it's not like that, but this is my old uh, elementary school right here, man. It's closed out. Look at oh, this shit. Man. What a... Look at this shit, man. So how many people do you have you heard that like moved, like, because of the situation. Because of this. I mean, it was it was people even before that, you know, complaining about the water, saying that uh, you know, it was breaking them out and shit. Right. So a lot of them moved, was trying to move out of the city and um because they couldn't figure out, you know what I'm saying? They taking showers and shit. I mean Right. You know, like I said, I, I mean I had people, I don't talk to a few people who done I don't look on their body and they physically saw uh, even even I went to the barber shop. I went to the barber shop, this is about three months ago. And um, I got my hair washed in the Flint. And man, my face broke out a little bit, like on both sides. Yeah. And I thought it was my barber. I thought he was have, had some dirty clippers or something, you know? Right. So I went out and bought some new clippers just so he can use them on me while he cut me. Right. It was the damn water, you know? Hmm. Damn water. Yeah, 
Alright, baby. Alright, now. Mary, I'm from right here, Flint, been here for 60 years. I'm just overwhelmed with all the. everybody bringing in the water. It's now used about one a day, you know, and uh, we, we, we eat with the water, we, we take, take a wash up. Well, you can't take no bath, you take a wash up. You know, you can, what, what? what? Well, I don't know when last time I took a bath. So you got to realize, we we in a situation here with this water. Hey, you really are. Give, me, give, me, give me another one, please. Yeah. We're in a situation here. I don't, I don't know, I don't know if we did it on purpose. It sounds like they did it on purpose. Other than water, what else do you need? I don't know, man. Uh, the water situation is the main thing with me. You know, I'm the head of my household. So everything else is flowing. But the water situation, that's the problem. Water, 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 water is the nature of life. You need water. Got to have Animal need water. Absolutely. Yep. You don't put your dog out there, your cat out there, don't give him no water. Absolutely. You're right. So if I'm gonna get rid of you, I'm gonna I'm I'm get your water. That's where you start. So yo, you pray for us. That's all I can say. I got upset man. talking about it. I got upset talking about it. No, I'm with you, man. Have a good day, brother. It ain't right. It ain't yeah. right. Anybody's walking around going on slow? Man, we should have somebody up in here. We should have like tankers on. Yeah, on no doubt. Right. No doubt. No doubt. Come on, man. You're right. This my this my old street, man. And uh, growing up, I mean, you know, you see, it's like middle class. And what? One. It's only like four houses, five houses on each side on the block, man. It's uh. It kind of pains me to see that, man. You know, every time I come back home, you know, you see all the boarded houses and stuff, man. It's, it's bad. It's bad, but man. You know, they need this, though. They need this. We're going to get this out there, though. We're going to make sure of that. And thank you for your services and coming to help us. We really appreciate it. We really appreciate it. We really do. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know who you was. I hope I didn't better hurt than that because I didn't know you were. <laughs> well, I knew you had on some nice shoes. <laughs> she was like, oh, you got some nice shoes? I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> Y'all have a blessing. You too. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, man, my, my mother used to teach here. This is an uh, old middle school called Bryant. And look at this, man. I mean, this, this school been closed for 20 some years. You know? And then it was a school called Pearson. That was right here. There's nothing there no more. You know? And that's the case with 90% of this lady getting her water right there. See that? Yeah. 90% of, of the elementary schools, man. My elementary, uh, Matane Elementary, Charlie Bell, and Antonio, all four of our elementaries uh, closed. You know, I mean, middle school too. Uh, both of my, both of the middle schools I went to, gone. I, I think a lot of stuff gonna really come to light too, not just the water stuff, man. It's, like I said, it's letting people know how how the inner city is you know, really treated. Imagine having no choice. That's what I'm saying. Like I can't even imagine being in that situation where like, I gotta bathe in this water. Okay. You know, ain't no other choice. Like, I can't even imagine how the people feel, man. Uh, you know, like, I got families directly. Uh, they pad, they distributing water right there. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, what's up, guys? How y'all doing? Y'all all right? Yes, sir. We can't take the New York all the way out here. I'm from here. Okay. Yep. How y'all, man? What's good, bro? Yep. Where y'all coming from? Detroit. Y'all come from no, uh, Detroit from North Carolina. Okay, Darren Coleman just left this boy from the D. Hey, yeah, that's my man. Yep. Hey, doing, man? hey, Rashid, what's up, man? Good, How you doing, dog? Chilling, chilling. Hey, from Flint, man. I came out with Glenn Rice in the school, so oh, I'm from chill. here. I live in New York. This is my city. We want it back. Yeah, no doubt. I'm with you. That's why we pulled over to see yes, what you're here. Yeah. Can I get church the next morning? And then we have people from the church. Uh, I had a brother in Buffalo, and I talked to him, and he practices one of the largest churches in Buffalo. And I said, this would be a good thing to do between Central New York and Western New York. And uh, so we decided to come together. Thank you, guys. I, I used to ball, too, so I know. But uh, we, we, we're glad to be in your neck of the woods, man. So we, we can do the help out. It's such a blessing, man. We saw y'all come from here, man. We've been cheating uh, and I. Church all day. Hey, we're gonna come over here. Oh, uh, well, we thank you for everything that you have tried to do and continue to do to help right. the people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are very welcome, man. God bless you. We see great to see you. Yes. There you go. 
and we still want to get the neighborhoods too. So it's just a little parking lot, but you know, we still got a truckload for the neighbors. Oh. I mean, the, the people saying thank you for sure, but uh, they're not expecting to see me. Yeah. Um, you know, especially just handing water out. You know, most most people or most athletes, which is fine, don't get me wrong. They, they send money and they donations and stuff. That's cool, but for me, I'm more of a hands-on cat cause, you know, so then that way the people know whatever monies or donations that they send and it's coming to me, then it's going right back out to the people. Rasheed Wallace, and check it out, y'all. He's handing out water. We gotta go, we got more water to do. Yes, and we gotta right. get back down, cause I gotta preach tomorrow morning. In the <laughs> and we ain't taking no jet, we drive. Thank you love, man. Great. Same for you, my lady. Y'all forget some water. Yup. Need some? What's the hell out y'all? What y'all doing for real? Oh, y'all in here? We're giving out water. We're giving out water all day. Hey, give us some water. Come on. Yeah. She ain't dying. Go on, little buddy. Go. Yeah. Boy, thank y'all. It's all sweet. Oh, no problem. All right, now. We thank y'all. Back up. Got it? Sure. Let me see. Alright. You strong, man. Oh, yeah, that's a fire you're all right there. <laughs> y'all be seeing him on TV one day. Alright, little man. Look at that. Hey, y'all throw one on my OG parts too, right? Oh, yeah, they already went to him. Where out? To the shaking of the head, dancing instead of sitting. The rhymes, he's got to do something while I'm driving, you know what I'm saying? You do what you do, but you like what you do too. So, like it happened to me. How you think another, another, another CMC get paid? Use the big truck style, and I'm playing the background. We in Flint Town, y'all. We going door to door, though. Hey, this one lady said, thank you so very much. She's like, thank you so very much that she stopped. She said, is you Wallace? <laughs> Rasheed is in the building, y'all. Flint Town, walking by himself. Look at him, by himself. He is at home right now. Come How many you got? Just one? You need one more over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That chicken sounds good in there, boy. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Let's go. Thank God. So their their comments have a, a, this technology in the inside. So like this is called a bomb, and it differs from like any other bomb because when you put it on, like the bonnet is separated from the top of the helmet. Cushion. So mm -hmm. if you get hit from the side. It's the helmet is gonna shift and then you're gonna get the relapse in your head. Whereas a traditional helmet where this is all connected, you're gonna hit that blow all at once. Mm -hmm. So it's really good at preventing concussion, especially um, in youth. That's the biggest market is like uh, youth players in um, junior high schools and high school kids. And there's a couple of NFL athletes that they have and they're trying to acquire more, but. Hello world, part two, headed up to Flint pass waters out to our brothers and sisters I'd like to thank Alexis and the crew over at Fathead for your donations the other day I also like to thank iGeek for what you did as a small business way to step it up and you are epitome to other small businesses young seed in the building <laughs> 
Hey guys, we appreciate the great uh, work you guys are doing in the community. We appreciate you letting us partner up with you guys uh, here at Detroit Walmart. Uh, anything we can do to help, we'd like to be involved. Thanks a lot and appreciate everything you guys do. Thanks for doing it, low key, man. Thanks for not causing a big circus, man. You know, it really we're helping us out because everybody else wants cameras and you know reporters and everything like that. You know, in and out like this, man. Really appreciate you guys, man. Appreciate it too, man. Thanks a lot. Yeah. You know, thank you. thank you. We'll get it out. How much water are you getting? Uh, we're averaging about seven semi loads of water a day coming in and pushing out about that same amount into the community. Um, we got distribution sites all over the city. Um, pushing out as much as we can. We got a lot of state departments helping out, donating some drivers. Uh, we got a lot of equipment that's getting donated, so we're doing our part to get it out. And, you know, you guys doing stuff like this, man, it really helps out too, so well, keep it up, man. It's yeah. community effort, you know, we all gotta pitch in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, man, thanks a lot, guys. God bless. We see greatness in Flint. Thanks. Hey, there is, man. There is a lot of we, potential. Yeah. We'll get it there. We'll get it there, for sure. Hey. We just left the food bank of Eastern Michigan, dropped off a pallet and a half of water. Now we're about to go to some daycares, drop off some more waters for the children, and keep it moving, go door to door. Stay tuned. Relaxing, taking it easy, doing stuff like this. Yeah. You know. Man, this is going where I'm need. I want to thank Mr. Wallace for uh, having the heart to come and <coughs> donate water to the people here in the city of Flint. Uh, it's much needed. It's certainly appreciated. Definitely. Very yes, welcome, sir, brother. Amen. Very welcome. Sure. Pleasure meeting you. Hey, Pleasure meeting you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. We see great to see. <laughs> take care now. All right, take care. All right, thank you. You're very welcome. Clap your hands, everybody, if you got what it takes. Because I'm Curtis Blow, and I want you to know that these are the boys. We in the hood, man. We in the hood in Flint. You know what I mean? We, we, we over here. Uh, where the forgotten is that, you know, they don't come through and show no love over here, man. So we make sure that we pay special attention to these people out here. You know, this is where the real deal is at. This is where the, the heart of what's going down up here is at. These people, you gotta imagine they single mothers out here with, you know, five or six kids, you know, no car. You know, they, they, they going through a lot of rough things, you know, no health care, no nothing. So it's gonna mean a lot to see the sheet and everybody come down and, uh, you know, show some love. So that's, that's what this is about, man. It's about us coming together and showing some love. That's real. Yeah. yeah that's a good game for that. Yeah, that's right, right here, it's not right in the dough. You got some years in you, man. He too busy handing out water. If I still be playing, I wouldn't be doing this now, good brother. Man, you got, a couple, you got one more year in you, she, man. Right back home to the D, baby. Man. You feel me? Yeah. Thank you all coming from Flint, man. But this is what we need right this is here, what we man. Need this right is here. what we need. Thank y'all. God bless y'all. God bless everybody. Hey, everybody. You're welcome, good brother. No problem, no problem. You know, we all family. Up there. We all family out here, man. Time. Time. lives matter. We in the south side. We in the jungle of the rich man. Shout out to the church. I love Shout everybody who's doing this for us. And we thank you. We're all family. Thank y'all. We see greatness in Flint. We all family. Hell yeah. I heard that. That's what i Man, Sam Bernie would say, it's great to see you. <laughs> you 
two. Oh, he's back door. What's up, brother? Yeah. What you gonna do? Can I get a picture with you, man? <laughs> I ain't. I wish I could share it to my page or something. I got my phone. You wanna take one? I don't have to take one with him, man. There we go. You one, two, one. three. Gotcha. All right. Yeah, way to get strong. I see. All right. We just finished dropping off the second truckload of water. We had four pallets today, yo. Four pallets. That's awesome. Um, we went to the Food Bank of Eastern Michigan, dropped off a pallet of water. We went to the Projects, yo, dropped off a pallet of water. That's where they really forgetting us at. But we not gonna forget though, you know what I'm saying? I like to thank the brothers from NED for coming out helping us today. That's, that's peace and love that you brothers showed us, man, real talk on everything. And we'll pick it up again next month. So y'all stay tuned, we not done.